Okay, so today we're going to tackle this render. Um, I'm going to provide a photo that we're going to use for the displacement and the texturing. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want you to do, hit Shift A and add an icosphere. And uh, don't scale it up. Just leave it where it's at. Hit Tab, hit W, and click Subdivide Smooth. On your number of cuts, bring it up to 10. All right, now we're going to add two modifiers. We're going to add our subdivision surface and our displace. On your displace, click New and then click this button right here. And then make sure it's on Image or Movie. And then um, I created a liquify, I liquified an image and I put it up on Unsplash. So I'm going to provide the link where you can download this image right here. And um, yeah, it's free. Feel free to get that or you can use whatever image you want. So go to where you saved it and import the uh, photo. All right, so it's imported. It should look like this. Now we're going to add uh, another modifier, the corrective smooth. Click only smooth and then sort of scale it down just a little bit. On your subsurf, on your view, click two. We're going to keep it at that. And then we're going to add one more modifier and that's going to be the simple deform. Make sure it's on twist and then on angle, just kind of twist it up until you like um, how twisted it is. And yeah, that looks about right. All right, now quickly we're going to add our camera. Shift A, camera, Control Alt Zero to snap it to view. And then this is just a preference thing, but in your camera settings on focal length, I put it on 100. Just the it, I like the way it looks, but you can do uh, you can keep it at the default. You can do whatever you want. And then what I'm going to do is tweak a couple more settings. So, okay, so now it is, um, this is where it looks. I just tweaked a couple settings. You can kind of keep it uh, however you like. And now we're going to go into texturing. So, on your textures, click new and go into the node editor. All right, so we're going to add a mix shader. Put it right in between those. We're going to add a gloss. And then on your gloss, make sure the roughness is at zero. And then here, make sure your factor is kind of close to the edge here. We just want a little bit of shine. All right, now we're going to add our image texture. We're going to add the color to the color. We're going to add a mapping node connect the two vectors and then we're going to add a texture coordinate and connect the generated to the vector. Now uh, go to the uh, image that I provided and import it. Now let's go to material view to make sure that it's working correctly. All right so it's working perfectly and yeah so next thing we're going to do, we're going to add one more node to this node tree uh, just to kind of make the color look a little better. We're going to add a RG, RGB curves. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but this just kind of adds some contrast in the image to make the color look a little better when you render it. All right, now here's a little lighting trick. If you're trying to get some quick HDRI li lighting, this is kind of like some fake HDR, but it helps you work and it doesn't take a long time to load. Right here on your world settings, um, it should say use nodes. Click use nodes and then click here and type in a click Veroni texture. All right, um, so this is how it works. Hit your render and it kind of adds fake HDRI lighting. So you can see you get this Veroni texture all around it and it lights your scene and it doesn't take a long time to load. Um, it's not very high quality lighting, but you know it, it, you know, it gets you um, in the ballpark of what you're looking for and you can add a real HDRI uh, when you're ready to render. Um, all right, no, so now that we're finished with this, we're gonna add our background. So it's basically the same steps. We're just gonna add a plane, rotate it 90 degrees. Sorry, I'll, I, I can always, always forget where that's at. All right, so rotate it 90 degrees and 
bring it back to about right here and then scale it to your camera alright so now we're gonna hit tab W and we're gonna subdivide it 100 times we're gonna go to the solid view okay so now I'm gonna kind of fix the scaling real quick it's subdivided a hundred times now we're gonna add the previous uh, things so subdivision surface we're gonna add our displace new and then we're gonna add our image we're gonna go back into our modifiers we're gonna add our corrective smooth only smooth and then up the view to two on your subdivision surface and now we're gonna um, add a texture this one's gonna be slightly different than the other texture so go to your node editor make sure your plane is selected and we're going to add we're not gonna add any gloss we're gonna keep it where it's at we're gonna add our image texture our mapping and our texture coordinate and then we're gonna add um, two more nodes just to help it as a background first I'm gonna import my photo alright so we're gonna first we're gonna add is an invert node so that inverts it obviously and then we're gonna add brightness and contrast and we're gonna bring down the brightness just enough and then we're basically done two things we need to add is depth of field and our HDRI lighting so we're gonna get go into our camera and we're gonna add our depth of field so click limits and then right here in distance sort of eyeball you're gonna see this little line come up just kinda eyeball it to where you like right there on the edge is going to be perfect and then on your blades make sure your blades are at 20 and then 0 0.1 should be enough let's kind of let's check that out okay so um, that looks perfect now we're just gonna go in and add our real HDRI I would recommend you use HDRI Haven they're all free and uh, they're the highest quality HDRIs I've ever used. If you've ever if you've ever used um, HDRI Labs, the, the quality is much much better than HDRI Labs. You'll tell that just your shadows and the realism of the lighting is much better. So I would use HDRI Haven. I'm gonna link it below, and including this right here. Both of these are linked below. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go import the one I want so I'm gonna click here environment texture and I'm gonna open up my uh, HDRI alright and that's what it looks like so um there you go I hope you learned something and um, just render that out and uh, this will all look much better um, that's just the preview render of course and so you know you can up that click render and it should look really good uh, thanks for watching I hope you learned something I hope you use it if you post it or whatever um, feel free to send it to me. I'd love to see how you do on the tutorial. And yeah, thanks for watching.